What's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to the Bonfire Podcast. Tonight's episode is gonna be a gonna be a fun one. Yeah, it's gonna be a little different tonight. We're just doing a little campfire sesh, man. Just gonna show uh, some original songs from myself and also producer Brooks over here, Mr. Brooks Huntley. Oh, I get promotion of a producer <laughs> now, huh? I think we're all three known as just producers. Co-producers. Now. Producer right. Nick, producer Brooks, producer Matt. All right, I'll take it. Put um, on the resume. That's right. If you don't follow Brooks on Instagram after this episode, I know you guys will want to. It's at Brooks Huntley Music, right? Uh, Brooks Huntley Official. I'll Brooks Huntley yeah. Official. Yeah, yeah. At Brooks Huntley Official. Also, give Nick Eagles over there. I follow as well. Mr. Nick Eagles. Nick Eagles. Ah! Official. We're all official, and I'm real. Okay. Yeah, real. <laughs> as you opposed got... to the unreal and the unofficial. Yeah. <laughs> At Nick, not at Nick Eagles official, at Brooks Huntley official, at Real Matt Cooper. Yeah. Give us all a follow. These guys, the I, we could not do this show without these guys. So I'm, I'm really thankful for, the, for these guys. We get to showcase a little bit of their talent tonight. Nick is very much behind the camera and a film guy, and we'll interview him at some point along the way and get to share his story. Yeah. But Brooks, tonight I want to you know just share some music, man, and we're yeah. going to jam and we're going to go from there. So. Uh, yeah, I say let's get into it and we'll see you inside. All right, so two songs each. Yeah. And then we'll do a cover at the end if we feel like it. All right. You're so gonna have you to tell wanna... me what that's going to be. We'll figure it out. I don't know, mate. We'll find something that we just like. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, you got the floor, brother. I got the floor. All right. Uh, I play a song. It's, it's a new one of mine. It's called Red Flags. You know it. Yeah, I do. Um, and you're soon to know it. Bonfire <clears throat> Crew. Bonfire Nation. I was watching a lot of The Bachelor, and they call them Bachelor Nation. So you're Bonfire Nation to me now. There we go. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's about uh, it's about relationships. It's about sharing too much and then figuring out that sometimes sharing too much is the right amount. Oh. I've been holding the doors every chance that I get I've been taking you out when I like staying I show up on time almost always with daisies I'm bad in a thousand on perfect behaving But baby, for this love to grow There's a side of me that you should know on the TV I get angry in traffic and have a bad habit of smoking after a few drinks I'm trying to surrender this old heart has been hurt I ain't trying to scare you away so if I show you my red flags it just means my white flag is raised well, I sure as heck talk a lot more than I should I leave this is piled up in the sink And I've held back on saying These things that ain't painting me in the right light But I think There's something in your eyes that says you can't Give a damn if I ain't Superman so I probably should mention I ain't good at listening When a ball game is on the TV I get angry in traffic And have a bad habit Of smoking after a few drinks I'm trying to surrender This old heart has been hurt I ain't trying to scare you if I show you my red flags, it just means my white flag is raised. And I'm all yours, man. I probably should mention I ain't good at listening when a ball game is on the TV. I get angry in traffic. And have a bad habit of smoking after a few drinks. And yeah, I'm trying to surrender. This old heart has been hurt. 
I ain't trying to scare you away So if I show you my red flag It just means my white flag If I show you my red flag It just means my white flag Is race yeah, baby. Clap, snap, snap. The crowd goes wild. <laughs> snap, crackle, pop on the fire, at least. Hey, tell me real quick. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about how that song came to be. Just like quick synopsis of. Yeah. If it was there a story behind it, or how'd you guys? Uh, that? there's definitely so there's a story behind it, but there's like a lot of stories that led into the final one. Uh huh. I just had this weird habit for a really long time when I would go on first dates, like where I would just spill within 30 minutes every single thing I could think of that yeah. like, might be a problem. <clears throat> and I think I figured it out kind of talking through therapy with friends and all that. I was like, why do I do that? Why do I like trauma dump on first dates? What is that? And I just figured out, like, I, I thought I was trying to chase girls away because maybe I wasn't ready for a relationship. But ultimately it was like, no, this is just my way of kind of being vulnerable. Fair enough. And I was like, hey, if I think you're not going to like me for this in six months, I'd rather you just not like me for it now. And we can just spare ourselves the trouble. Yeah. And it just kind of turned into that. There you go. Yeah. Red flags, white flags. I like it, man. <laughs> I like it. Good song, dude. <clears throat> Good song. Um, okay, I think I'm on I think I'm in this key. No, what did I practice on? I think I practiced this key right here. So we're gonna try that. Um, okay, cool. Well, thanks, Brooks. Um <clears throat> so this one's called the Dragonflies song. I wrote it originally uh for my very first album that I did with Skylar and Andrew and those guys. Yeah. And uh I originally wrote it. Wow, this is really hot. I originally wrote it uh, from my friend Trey, yeah. um, who actually uh, lost his brother um, when he was younger. Mm. Um, and the story behind it is that, long story short, um, Trey's brother, uh, Shay, was uh, very much into dragonflies. That was kind of his thing. You know how like you go through phases and like you got the bug. For me, it was like bug phase and like the yeah. magic phase and like stuff like that. When you were like 17. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, so Shay was really into dragonflies and, uh, it became like a big part of their family. And, yeah. um, I remember going to his house spring break and, uh, I walked into the bathroom and I noticed all these dragonflies and kind of had that conversation with him that Shay was really into dragonflies. Like that, that was one of his really, like his passions. Yeah. So anyways, uh, whenever Trey and their family see a dragonfly, it's kind of like that remembrance of, of Shay and mm. their brother. So I wrote the dragonfly song. And now with this situation kind of going on with our family, I think it kind of has a new meaning for us. So I wanted to share that tonight. So this is the Dragonfly song. I hope you like it. Let's go. I swear I saw a dragonfly today. That man. I swear it was talking back to me The way that we used to Sometimes it's the little things in life That make us trust the good in the goodbyes So here goes mine You can't fly, fly away up above the clouds until we meet again someday You can't fly, fly away I know you're with Jesus probably listening to me Saying good night My child I almost just about got burnt. <laughs> now I'm out here in Santa Bell with all of my new friends. And Cameron's back is burnt as hell from laying in sand. Sometimes I see you passing by I used to shed a tear But now we share in smiles 
So here goes mine. You can fly, fly away up above the clouds until we meet again someday. You can fly, fly away. I know you're with Jesus, probably listening to me sing good night, my child. You can't fly, fly away Up above the clouds until we meet again someday You can't fly, fly away I know you're with Jesus, probably listening to me saying good night. Magic, hanging fact. Yeah, man. That's it. Yeah. Dude, I, I literally thought I was going to flame right there, dude. I, I was, Woo! my mic was really close to catching on fire in yeah. my face. <laughs> I started I started forgetting my chords because I didn't want to die. <laughs> it's like, dude. My mic is, uh, I feel like it's heating up this rubber on here. For real. Because my mic is falling. Oh, no. We okay? All right. <laughs> All right. You're up, bro. This is the most chaotic episode, and it's, what's the common denominator? <laughs> Me. Because <laughs> I'm normally just standing over there, not touching anything. Dude, we I finally am. figured out this fire, and it's been the whole worst thing for us we've unleashed pandora's <laughs> box yeah uh all right what you got bro we've unleashed oh man all right that's it all right so I'm, this one is for matt really um i love this song matt actually like single-handedly made me fall back in love with this song because it's you know you, i write so many songs and this is matt and i originally knew each other from music and introduction from our yeah. producer and uh kind of talking about songwriting and so when you have another songwriter kind of comment on something or react to something the way that you did when you heard me play this live i don't know it just lit a fire in me uh no pun intended i mean and, i i I had never listened to that song before. Yeah. I, I finally found it on your EP. Yeah. And I've listened to the EP before, but I guess I just passed it. But yeah. when I heard it live, I was like, sorry, I should be near the mic. But when I heard it live, man, I was like, mm. this is awesome. So anyways. Yeah, on. dude. I, so this song is called Flying. And it's, you know, kind of keeping up with that flying sort of theme we got going on here. And it's really about, I was going through this time in my life where I didn't know what I believed really about anything. I didn't really know why I was here. Uh, which I still struggle with sometimes and I'm always trying to figure out exactly what this is all about And I guess that's what we kind of talk about on this podcast, which is why I love being a part of it yeah. um, But there was a night that I just had a moment of clarity and I was like, man I, I couldn't figure out if anything was really really worth living for uh, In the grand scheme of things in the existential sense and then I was like, well, I guess love is it That's what people say and I believe that but then there was this little voice in the back of my head saying well What if you're wrong and I? kind of just had this moment of clarity where I was like, who cares if I'm wrong? If I believe it, then that's enough for me right now. Mm -hmm. And that was where I was at that night. And it just turned into this song that I wrote very single, but it ended up being this, this love song called Flying. Mm -hmm. so. Dude, bro. Where you caught me Red on my hands Sipping my coffee Trying not to stare I heard that angel on my shoulder Say, say hello The devil said to hurt you But we both know Who I listen to and Now I'm laying with you I want to win when I let my guard down if I can't fly, I guess falling is the next best thing. If I fall from up this high, I'll have a lifetime in the air to think 
And imagine it all lasting 50 years of that A man might end up not so scared of trying Life may be a free fall, but your love makes it feel like flying. Well, there you caught me with all my fears and doubts. The months went by, our love had its ups and downs. I ain't a cynic, I just act like one sometimes. But then I saw how good you look when you wear white I thought if I can't fly I guess falling is the next best thing If I fall from up this high I'll have a lifetime in the air thing And imagine it all lasting 50 years of that A man might end up Not so scared of dying Cause life may be a free fall But your love makes it feel like flying Oh, like flying I wonder if You called them beautiful If I can't fly I guess falling is the next best thing If I fall from up this high I'll have a lifetime in the air to play And imagine it all lasting Not so scared of trying Cause life may be a free fall But your love makes it feel like flying mm. Flying Oh my gosh, dude It's so good <laughs> It's such a good song, dude Thank you, man you, you gotta do a, um, <clears throat> you gotta, you gotta do a, like just so many different versions of it. <laughs> I know you were talking about doing a more produced kind of thing. Yeah, I love it stripped. Yeah, I really do, and I I think that's gonna be my favorite. But yep. I love to see it take new faces. Dude, that's the funny thing. It's kind of <laughs> dangerous putting out acoustic versions of songs first because people get really Attached married to, it. to them. Yep. And when you put out like a non-acoustic version, everybody's like, ah, it's all right. Yep. But I like the acoustic one. Yeah, I know. It's Which is cool. It's interesting that people gravitate to acoustic versions of songs. I think that's cool. It creates some sort of emotion, you know? Yeah. Oh, let me lift this guy up. There's no hiding. There's no hiding. Right. It's I'm no trying hard. to live my life acoustically. No hiding. <laughs> oh, man, dude. I love that. <laughs> this one's a new one I've been working on. Um, I started writing it. I think I showed I showed you this, Dad. Um, this one is called "Good God." It's uh, I started writing it when my mom kind of when her uh, cancer came back um, the second time around August time, and at that time was a weird part of my life because I was also asked to uh, be on a TV show at that time. Mm -hmm. So I kind of became like this, I came into this acting world. It was reality TV probably shouldn't be saying that right now but um i don't know when it's supposed to come out they said it was supposed to come out i, I, I thought it'd be out by now did you end up finishing that out no 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 so okay. i ended up i ended up that's what i thought yeah, yeah exiting the show but anyways so that was kind of part of that journey yeah. and so i write about uh kind of the story with cancer and like the tv show and just kind of my life just from august to now and uh you know there's always just like the ups and downs with God and like, <clears throat> you know, the questioning and stuff like that. And um, so, yeah, I wrote a little bit about that. Um, but the the main thought of it is that even through the ups and downs that like God, God does remain good. So this one's called Good God. I've never showed this to anybody besides that guy right there. So here it goes. 
Good God Almighty, I'm a broken man, but she shows me heaven every time we dance away. She's holding on. Well, good God, I ain't ever seen your face, but her eyes are covered with loving grace and may see through my flaws. She makes me good. God. Well, good God, holy more look at me. I'm 23, living in Tennessee, and I'm still writing songs. But good God, no one ever told me that when you love somebody, it could hurt so bad, cause she's, she's heading home. It ain't looking good, God. But I know you're good, God. Cause the sun came out today. There's breath in my lungs and I'm so to sing. I'm gonna be okay. Cause there's somebody watching over me. Well, good God, hey, I'm on a TV show When Daddy comes and says, son, you should know That mom ain't doing too hot Well, good God, can you send a healing tree For the cancer in her and some therapy for me Cause Lord knows I'm not, I'm not doing good God, but I know you're good God, cause the sun came out today there's breath in my lungs and a song to sing. I'm gonna be okay. Is there somebody watching over me? Well, good God, can you tell I said hi? But Danny, David, Dad are doing fine tonight. Well, I'm staying strong. It's good God, how could I feel sad knowing that she's happily dancing now with you? So is this so wrong that I'm doing good, God? Finally doing good, God. Cause I've got a good, God. That's it. That's incredible, dude. That's it. You like that one? I like that song a lot. You know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> we're trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to write a song, you know, with the whole situation, and that was yeah. that one's up for the running. But um, there's a couple other songs that I just really feel emotionally connect. So, man, so actually, I have a good idea. We should write together. I have a good idea. We need to write a song after together. after this. We should talk about it. I just want to say, like, I I always think of songs. Whenever I hear a song, and I'm trying to figure out if I think it's good, which is, by the way, if, if a song is good or not, is so subjective. But right, when I'm trying to decide if I think it's good, I try to imagine when I'm gonna need it, and for what oh, reason. Yeah. And just like that song, the whole time I was sitting there, I was thinking about just that moment when you're so tired of lamenting, when you're so tired of crying. Yeah. And you, if you're gonna cry, you need to cry in some sort of way that feels different than the way you've been crying. Yeah. And for me, I was just like, I can see a day that I need to sit in my car and recline the seat all the way backwards and just listen to that and have like a good cry. Yeah. You know, this, this we, we talked about this yesterday, but like, this does suck. Like life right now, sucks and you know you never want to lose somebody that close to you yeah. but god remains good man and it's like mm -hmm. not because of anything not because of anything like he's doing for me or like anything that like he continues to you know bless me with or whatever it's because yeah. of everything that was done on that cross man what i love about that song too i'm just gonna keep pouring praise on it because i love <laughs> go, it go for it dude. dude it feels like the psalms like i i was reading through the psalms recently and i would <clears> say <throat> this like if david was alive today writing the psalms people would probably think he has like schizophrenia or something <laughs> because he's just so like back and forth he's just like god is amazing and then he's like why have you forsaken me like within two sentences mm -hmm. and that song weaves that same kind of like that same thing and mm -hmm. it's like the psalms it's like praise and lament and praise and lament <clears throat> and that's all part of life it's yeah, like it's the, the fullness pool. of life yeah it's yeah. the hills and valleys. We, we we call it the hills and valleys, man. You can't have the fullness of life without the valleys. No, it's not a full life. You can't uh, you can't value the the goodness of life without having the bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't even know the goodness of God without you know seeing you know the opposite side of things. Yeah. So, oh, that's great writing, yeah, dude. man. Thanks, man. I that's appreciate. So it. real. We uh, we trying to do a cover. What do you got in mind? There we go. So we're we'll, gonna do, do a little jam, a little jam, a little jam. Right. Do it, bro. Two, three. Hey. Mm. It's 
It's not a silly little moment. It's not a storm before the calm. This is a deep and dying breath. The stuff that we've been working on. Can seem to hold you like I want to. But I can feel you in my arms. Nobody's gonna come and save you. We pull too many false alarms. We're going down. And I can see it too. We're going down. And you know that we're doomed. My dear, we slow dancing in a burning room. My dear, we slow dancing in a burning room. Take it. Can't seem to hold you like I want to. So I can feel you in my arms. Nobody's gonna come and save us. We pull too many false alarms. I don't remember what the verse is, even though I'm a big John Mayer fan. Come on. This is how we avoid copyright claims. Oh, it's a bonfire. We're going down. I can see it too. We're going down. And you know that we're through, my dear. We're slow dancing in a burning room. Give me some ooze. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. We go in that. I can see, see it too. We go in that. In a burning Don't you think we ought to know by now? Yeah. Don't you think we, we ought to learn somehow? Don't you think we ought to know by now? Don't you think we should learn somehow? Don't you think we ought to know by now? We should learn somehow. Don't you think we ought to know by now? Don't you think we should learn somehow? Slow dancing in a burning room. <laughs> That's a chaotic it, cover of that song of all time. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. I think we keep it, bro. That was great. <laughs> Next time we'll prepare a cover. <laughs> yeah, what do you say? <laughs> all right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next week. Yeah. <laughs>